Hello there. My name is Hunter Buren. I'm a HubSpot implementation specialist here at Evenbound. And today I'm going to walk you through how to make the HubSpot prospecting workspace work for you. If you click into your HubSpot account and click on prospecting, it's going to take you to the summary page of the prospecting workspace. As we can see on this tab, the summary page is going to pull together everything that you need to look at within the day. So as we can see up top here on this left, we can see all of the tasks and our progress with these tasks throughout our day. So all of the tasks that are due today, or you can filter by overview, overdue, you can see all of the to-dos that you have, all the emails, calls, LinkedIn tasks, and how many of those have been completed or not. We can also see how many meetings we have today as well. Moving over to this right-hand side, this is where you can get a little bit more insight into those tasks that you have. As you can see, I don't have any tasks that are due today, but I do have some overdue tasks. And here is where the prospecting tool is going to come in handy and be incredibly helpful for your day-to-day. If you have tasks due today, if you have multiple tasks due today, or you have multiple ta overdue tasks or multiple tasks due tomorrow, all you have to do is click start all and it will create a list of tasks for you to follow up with. As we can see, we have the task itself right over here on the left hand side. And the nice thing here is it pops up a smaller version of the contact portal. So if I need to follow up with this contact, I can click this, create an email, send that contact out to this email. Then all I have to do is click check to cross this task off, and it will take me to the next task that I have. So if this had a different contact associated to them, it would pop up that new contact portal, um, and I can just pull up that task queue and start working on my day-to-day -day tasks. As we can see here, we can also see all of the contacts that I have um, in sequences at the moment. I can see all of those different contacts um, and where they're at in each step of the sequence. We can also see our schedule right here on this left-hand side as well, and any of the leads that they're working as well. It, all of these leads, what stage they're in as well. That takes me to the lead stage. This lead stage is lives in the prospecting workspace, but it will be a separate thing that you'll have to set up. Think of a lead as an object associated to a contact, just like a deal is, but it's going to track all of those sales opportunities leading up to a deal creation. So just like with tasks, if we click into the lead itself, it'll pop open a smaller version of that contacts portal and we can see all of their lead status. If I am to reach out to that lead, it will automatically move it to attempting. If that lead reaches back out and responds to that email, it'll all automatically move to connect it. And then once we've qualified this lead, which means we're ready to create a deal and associate it to that contact, we can click this qualified section, change that lead to qualified, and it automatically pops up the deal creation form where we can then create that deal and have that all set up. In addition to this, if you want to see your schedule and a, and a whole, you can click on the schedule tool. If you have your online connect calendar connected into HubSpot, you can see all of those different uh, meetings you have. If those are associated to meetings in your HubSpot or contacts in your HubSpot account, then those contacts will show up inside of here. And then this last feed section, this is where the activity feed lives. So all of the people that have been sent to your emails, all of the opens, all of the meetings you've attended, etc., all of those are going to live right in this feed section. Last thing I want to show you is setting up the settings. So if we go into settings, go down to objects and click on leads, this is going to show us when a lead will be automatically created for a contact if we want that contact, if we want leads to be automatically created. So as we can see, 
If we set a contact to a lead as their life cycle stage, it will automatically create a lead object and associate it to that contact, which we can then start to work. You can change this as well, as well as updating the contact or company association um, when a lead is associated to them. The last thing I want to ta tackle here is the lead stages automation. So general inside of HubSpot, HubSpot has some standard automation for the standard stages that they have built for the leads object. The standard automation you not, are not allowed to remove, but it is really helpful. Um, and you are able to add custom stages and custom automation around that. So leads starting and will start in new based on that um, life cycle stage that you have them auto created or manually created. As we can see here, leads will move to attempting when you've logged a email or a call to their contact record connected what they'll move to there once they've replied to the email or the call is logged as connected and then qualify this is where you can require a deal to then be created afterwards and you can require a disqual disqualification reason we can add any additional stages in here and then in addition to this utilize leads in our reporting and utilize leads in our workflows as well. So that's a crash course on the prospecting tool inside of HubSpot and how you can make it work for you. If you need any help implementing this for your HubSpot instance or figuring out how to set up your leads or prospecting information, Evenbound is happy to help. Hope this helped you understand how the tool works and how you can utilize it within your day-to-day -day activities. Have a great day.